Hello Capricorn, welcome to this 2021-2022 year in review. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So keep in mind guys, as always, that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Now this is going to be the most resonant for you from your sun, moon, or rising sign, obviously, or of course, not obviously, but of course, with your rising sign at the top of the list. But I want to make it very clear that with these readings that I'm doing here, this could be for any Capricorn placement that you have regardless as to whether it's sun, moon, rising, sun, moon, or rising or not, okay? Um, whatever. Just watch this for your Capricorn place it and take placement and take it as it resonates. But of course, your top three, sun, moon, and rising, with your rising being at the top of that list, is going most likely to resonate with you the most, okay? Um, so what we're going to do is I have two decks here. First deck I'm going to use to look at the year of 2021 and see what that was like for you. Get some end of the year wrap up messages there for you. And then we're going to take a quick glimpse in with into the year of 2022 with another deck. Okay. And then at the bot at the end at the bottom at the end of the message or the end of the reading, we're going to get some closing oracle guidance for you from the Earth Warriors deck. Yes. Excellent, Capricorn. Let's get into this. Oh, hi, Dragonfly. Dragonflies may have been a strong symbol for you over the month, over this year. And what I'm getting for you in terms of that, uh, not Sagittarius, I'm sorry, I just did their reading, Capricorn. What I'm getting for you, Capricorn, is um, that there has been a lot of mental expansion for you over the course of the year of 2021. Uh, I'm feeling like you've had to overcome a lot of things from a cognitive, logical, uh, three-dimensional rational point of view that you may have felt like you've had to do some sort of mental gymnastics to get over for some of you I'm feeling like this was something you've been avoiding for a long time I feel like you've been very much aligned with or have been spending your life trying to align with the status quo uh, which makes perfect sense for you Capricorn because as a Capricorn, especially for my Sun, Moon, and Rising Capricorns, you are rulers of the 10th house. The 10th house in astrology has to do with your public image, uh, your legacy, how people see you, how people perceive of you, what people think of you, um, and your maybe your career, your longevity, okay, your long-term focus. There has been a strong reshaping of that for you over the course of this year, which quite frankly, Capricorn is in very much alignment with what everyone else has been going through. Like if you watch any of the other readings in this series, the big message has been for all of us has been overcoming who we thought we were or what we thought we were meant to achieve and figuring out that there's something deeper. Not necessarily figuring out what that deeper thing is, but just coming to terms with the fact that there's something more. There's something deeper underneath the surface that is more authentic to who we are as beings, as individuals in this three-dimensional reality. And finding a way to align with that. Again, that doesn't mean that you had to fully align with it over the course of 2021. No, it's the exact opposite. You had to align yourself with the fact or the possibility that there is, in fact, something more than what society was telling you or what society has been drilling into your head, okay? And coming to terms with that and then working towards seeking out that greater truth or that greater sense of authenticity and then working towards bringing that forward, which looks to be more of an energy of 2022 and beyond. But I'm going to give this five shuffles. Let's see what 2021 was for you like was like for you specifically yeah this is one the knight of pentacles just caught my attention this has been a very slow and steady process and for you capricorn that may have been tumultuous this is a two even though you're an earth sign and being an earth sign gives you a steadfastness this is three uh you're still a cardinal sign okay you're still a trailblazer you still like to move quickly efficiently yes but quickly, this is three. And over the course of this year, it feels like in many ways, you've been forced to slow down. This is four. And in slowing down, you started to become aware of discrepancies that maybe you have missed or for some of you specifically that you have consciously overlooked. This is four. Oh wait, no, this is five, I'm sorry. 
And the reason why you overlooked that Capricorn was because, well, no one else recognizes it. No one else mentions it. No one else has a problem with it. So I might as well just go with the flow. I can get away with it because everyone else does. That is directly out of alignment with you for some reason. I don't know why. I just heard that is directly out of alignment with you. Ace of Wands is on the bottom of the deck right now. I, uh, please excuse me if I lost count, but whatever. When I was shuffling, whatever. Ace of Wands, there's a new direction on the horizon for you. But that is a result of the catalyst that has been 2021, okay? So what was 2021 like for you specifically, Capricorn? First card out is the world. 555 five, five on the counter. Big change, but big change because of completion. Closing the doors, completing the cycles, bringing certain things to a conscious end. Yeah, it's been like that for all of us. What else? For the year of 2021 for Capricorn. Yes! Look at that. Tenth house energy. Ten of pentacles. There it is right there. All right, this is that 10th house energy for you. But also what this is saying, Capricorn, is that this has just been a completion of a life lesson or a life circumstance. Maybe even multiple life lessons or life circumstances. Some of you have gotten completely barraged with endings, completions, closures, and, and, and ultimately new beginnings though. Because with that you have the ace, I'm sorry, the, the magician. And what I'm getting specifically, Capricorn, is that this has been creating the space, wow, creating the space for you to manifest something new with that you have death big transformation three out of the four of the cards that have come out here for you are major arcana so this is telling me capricorn that this has not been an easy year for you again even though you're a cardinal sign and out of all of the signs cardinal signs often have the best time with change actually it's the cardinal signs that drive change most often right close second would be the mutable signs and god forbid any sort of fixed sign <laughs> has to deal with change right okay but capricorn you're still an earth sign the earth is steadfast doesn't move it stays consistent right earth is all about consistency not for you this year capricorn you have been forced to change over the course of this year capricorn but it's changed for the better. It's changed that was divide, that was guided by a higher power. Underneath, at the bottom of the deck, you have the high priestess. So what this is telling me, with the high priestess being here, you fought this shit tooth and nail, Cap. Why? Because there was no logical reason for it. Uh-huh. That's right. I hit that nail on the head, didn't I? There was no logical reason for it. But when it comes to the realm of the divine or the realm of spirit, they are approaching things from a much higher point of view. And that higher point of view doesn't include logic. Logic is, I mean, logic is a thing, sure. Okay, logic is a real part of the, is woven into the fabric of the universe. But when we talk about logic here in a three-dimensional reality from a human mind point of view, that shit don't make sense. And it never will. But there is a reason for it. And I feel like at this point, Capricorn, you may either, either you have just accepted the fact that things in your reality need to change and there is no moving forward without changing it. Some of you have reluctantly just accepted that fact and you're moving forward. Others of you have come to a bit of a logical understanding like a retrospect type of aspect. Like now that you're out of it, now that it's done, now that it's completed, now that you've gone through your, your grieving and your healing process, now that you're not necessarily crying about it anymore, not to say that crying about it is bad, but now that you're not necessarily grieving about it anymore or maybe as much as you were in the past, now that you're able to kind of dry your eyes a little bit and really look at the situation from a hindsight point of view, some of you are like, oh, I get it. I totally get it now. Or maybe I don't totally get it, but I'm glad it's done. Stop right there. Because if you are in an energy of, 
I don't understand why that happened, but man, am I glad that it's over. Good. You're getting it. At least you're getting there. Okay, Cap? Okay. Five shuffles here. We're going to look at the year of 2022 for you. One. Two. For my Capricorns. Three. Wow. Wow. I feel the tension, Capricorn. I feel the panic. I feel the panic when you realized something had to change and you had no idea how to go about it. I feel that. Whew. Three. Four. This was way out of your wheelhouse. For some of you, what I'm picking up on right now is that you are always the agent of change. And this is five. Some of you may have actually prided yourself on the fact that you were or you were able to deal with change easily, 11-11 on the counter. But even though change was is always a chaotic thing, you have been that central driving force to say, this is changing, but it's changing in a structured way. And that's beautiful. But that's not the case for this situation. Because this time, the change was for you and not anybody else. And no one could have helped you with that. Because you were always the one to help others with their changing aspects. So you felt abandoned, some of you. You were... In essence, sorry, Jinx is playing in the background. You were, in essence, left to your own devices, but you were not alone. You had the high priestess. You had the universe on your side. There was a larger, a greater power than yourself that was helping you, as still helping you through this change, okay? All right, so what's 2022 looking like for you? All right. Whoa. All right. So 2022 is still a transitional year for you. Uh, I don't feel like it's going to be easy because, and I don't say this to worry you, but I'm being real with you, right? Like, what's the point of me doing this readings if I'm not going to be upfront and honest with you about what I'm feeling? There are still some tumultuous energies, but not because there are crazy negative cards that have come out here, because of the fact that you're still going to need to be contemplating how it is you are of service to the collective. Four of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles has come out in first. Now, first and foremost, Capricorn, the Queen of Pentacles represents your energy. I mean, any of the court cards could represent any of the elements that they, that they reside within. But specifically speaking, the Queen of Pentacles represents you. And the Four of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles fell out on your year of 2021. The Four of Swords fell out face up, or I'm sorry, upright. And the Queen of Pentacles fell out crossing the Four of Swords, which was all on top of the year of 2021. So what this is saying to me is you're still going to be processing a lot of the understandings that you need to come to in terms of who you are and how you relate to the world around you because of this massive shift. And you're going to be facing a lot of energies in terms of lack mentality, five of pentacles. But what I'm getting with the five of pentacles, Capricorn, is you are now going to be facing the ways or, yeah, the ways in which you are dealing with that internal sense of lack mentality. Whereas in the past, you were always the one to come forward and make something work or figure something out or help somebody else through their own lack mentality or whatever, like helping someone else clean up their shit, right? With your cardinal energy and your earth energy, you had that structural ability to create structure in people's lives, but also drive them forward. Well, now that's happening for you over the year of the course of 2021. I'm sorry, 2022. But it may not be all that bad. Because with that, you have the magician. 
And this here is giving me a feeling, Capricorn, like you are going to be manifesting something new or at least you are going to be driven to manifest something new. Overall energy for you is the High Priestess, which is talking about unconditional love and an abundance of energy and resources. Even if you don't necessarily see it in your physical reality, it's always there to support you energetically, right? Some of you are actually going to have to open up to the esoteric uh, uh, realm of things, which, which doesn't really quite make sense for me to say because you're sitting here watching a tarot reading, right? But there are still some elements to the unknown elements of the divine that you're going to need to just be accepting of, willing to, to allow, willing to accept into your life. Underneath the, the Empress is you officially at the bottom of the deck, the devil. But what I'm feeling for this, for you Capricorn, for the year of 2022, loving yourself throughout the changes. Loving yourself for who you truly are, not who society or the public view of you makes you out to be or wants you to be. Underneath the devil is the emperor and then justice and the ace of swords and death and the page of wands, but okay. And the page of wands would just further represent this transformative energy for you. The, so, 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 so first and foremost, you do have the emperor and the empress here as your overall energy for 2022. So I do feel like there's a level of divine masculine, divine feminine healing and integration within you over the course of the year. But there's also a serious transformation. But Capricorn, that transformation comes from you loving yourself for exactly who it is that you are, both light and dark. Do you recognize how serious I got there? Loving yourself for exactly who it is you are, flaws and all. And I don't care what anyone else has to say about it because they can talk shit, they can chicken neck, they can bup, 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 all they want. But that doesn't mean that you should ever not, uh, not, uh, not honor and love yourself. That's the biggest transformation that is happening for you over the course of this year of 2022. Loving your flaws because your flaws make you who you are. You are a human being, Capricorn. Nobody here is perfect. We all have flaws. And if the people around you, the society, whatever that you surround yourself with can't accept that, then you need a new co a collective. You need a new social group. You need a new societal blanket, if you will, to swaddle yourself in. Right? Fuck that noise. I'm not here for it. I'm here for the real you. I'm here for the authentic you. The you that you don't show anybody else. Not to say that I'm asking you to go out there and bare yourself naked, but I'm here for that part of you. Because I see that part, part of you and I honor that point of view. I don't judge it. If I were to judge you for that, I would be judging myself as well. So then in that case, who's the real devil here? Mm. Okay. Closing Oracle Guidance. Five shuffles. One. Two. Three. Four, and five. All right, Capricorn, let's get your closing oracle guidance. Card number six, Palik Mana, medicine of the butterfly Kachina. I mean, if you don't understand anything of what I just said, understand the word butterfly. Transformational process, right?
On the Wings of Hope, Butterfly Kachina guides you through an ending to the light of new life within. Guides you through an ending to the light of the new life within. There we go. It is your transition into a happier time of increased pleasure and delight. Especially if you have experienced great struggle or loss, the spirit medicine of butterfly brings hopeful promise to your hurt. I'm sorry, to your heart, but also to your hurt, right? Okay. Here is your sign that there will be happiness, peace, and light. Trust in the God and the goodness. I was going to say trust in the goddess, but yes, trust in the goddess, the God and the goodness being birthed. Ooh, some of you are actually giving birth to a God or goddess part of yourself that we all have within us, which is that empress energy. Okay. So in a reading, this card says, an apparently lost cause or shattered dream was a necessary part of your transformational journey. What was sacrificed can be reborn into something even more beautiful. You are not meant to turn to the past as it cannot support you in the way that it once did. Trust that you have the inner resources to handle what is happening within you and in your life. You are moving towards a significant psychological, emotional, and perhaps also physical breakthrough and transformation. You may have an inner sense of discomfort, signaling that something new is unfolding within. It is natural to initially feel a little awkward or uncertain in the face of the unfamiliarity. This is a good sign of change stirring from within. Allow nature to take its course. Trust in what is happening, even whilst you don't fully understand it. It will turn out beautifully in the end, which will also happen to be a new beginning. Okay, so there's something very specific coming through there. There is somebody out here that I'm connecting with that has really a big problem with nature. And that's only because you don't understand the core of the being that is nature. Let me tell you something right now, baby boy, baby girl. You are never going to understand nature in its full capacity in this embodiment. Never. It is too vast for us to really fully comprehend within the human condition. So you need to let that go. You need to work diligently towards releasing that resistance because I can promise you that nature knows exactly what you need and knows exactly how to get you there. Your cognitive understanding about the reality that you face is only a one square cubic centimeter of the iceberg that is existence. Just one. Hopefully that made sense. I love you. And I am, I'm so happy that we're here together and I hope you have a fantastic year. Yeah? I'm going to leave it there. So if you guys would like uh, this specific spread for your own self, uh, just email me. My email can be found in the description box below. Let me know you want this spread specifically and I will get you all set up. But with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it was helpful for you. I'm sending you so much love and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Fantastic. <laughs> Bye. Thank <laughs> you.